Good morning, children. Welcome to my class. So, in your English literature class today, we are going to study this poem. This is The Wind by Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay, first of all, let us know about the poet Robert Louis Stevenson. He was born in the year 1850 and died in the year 1894. He was a Scottish author. Because Scottish, why? Because he was from Scotland. Who liked to travel to different places. His journeys formed the basis of many of his stories. According to Stevenson, every child will grow into an adult and the poems will become memories of their childhood. According to his, uh, his thought was this, that every child will grow into an adult because now you are small, tomorrow you are going to grow up and the poems will become memories of their childhood. So he has written such a beautiful poem. Here we are going to study about that. His well-known books of poems are a child's garden, gardens of verses and songs of travel and other verses. These two books of poems are famous. His books of poems. Okay. So let us start the poem. This is the wind. Now read this poem about uh, the various activities of the wind. Actually, first of all, you have to understand here. Just imagine we cannot see wind. Okay. Can you see wind? No, we cannot see wind. But we can feel it. The feeling is there. Isn't it? We can feel the wind is passing by. We can feel when there is a very strong wind. It is going in front of us. It is behind us. But we cannot actually see. So, this poem is based on imagination. Your imagination power. You have to use your imagination power while reading this poem. Okay. I saw you. First, I will give a reading. Then I will explain. Okay. I saw you toss the kites on high and blow the birds about the sky. And all around, I heard you pass. Like ladies skirts across the grass. O wind, a blowing all day long. O wind that sings so loud a song. I saw the different things you did. But always you yourself you hid. I felt you push. I heard you call. I could not see yourself at all. O oh wind, a blowing all day long. O oh wind that sings so loud a song. O oh you that are so strong and cold. O oh blower, are you young or old? Are you a beast of field and tree? Or just a stronger child than, child than me? O oh, wind a blowing all day long, O oh, wind that sings so loud a song. Okay, now each para I am going to explain you. You see here in the first para, I saw you toss the kites on high. Here you see actually in this poem, Robert Louis Stevenson here, the poet also is a child. His imagination is of a child. Okay, so you see in this poem actually, the poet, Personifies wind. What is the meaning of personifies? Here he, uh, here he represents wind. Okay. And he has written here that he has observed about the wind. The different activities he has observed about the wind. Okay. He looks, uh, you see here, he looks kites flying high. And the birds soaring high in the sky he sees. Okay. The poet can't see the wind. But he writes. Uh, he is aware of it. He can't see. But he is aware that there is wind. You also, you see, you, when you go through an open, uh, through an open field, you can feel it. Feel the wind. But can you see it? No. So you see a same for the poet here. The poet can't see the wind, but he is aware of it blowing. The wind is blowing. The poet here writes that he can't hear wind. Okay, he can feel it. He can hear it. When it rustles past ladies' skirts, the ladies are going through the field. So he can hear them when they pass. Okay. Alright. Now let us uh, just uh, go through each para. I saw you toss the kites on high. So the poet is saying that I can see it is uh, 
uh, going you have seen the kites actually they go high up in the sky but when there is wind that time only they go high up okay and blow the birds about the sky so in the birds there the birds are soaring high they are flying high up in the sky and all around i heard you pass he is hearing that all around i can um, uh, actually feel that feeling is there i heard you pass he can hear is saying like ladies skirts across the grass when the ladies go from the grass you see grasses are there so uh, huge uh, fields of grass are there and the ladies goes a sound uh, the uh, a sound can be heard so the poet also can hear that sound oh when they blowing all day long you are con constantly blowing you are not tired is yes, the wind is not tired or the wind does not stop constantly it blows oh when that sings so loud a song a song comes when the wind is blowing the poet can hear a song i saw the different things you did you were doing so many different things is saying but always you yourself you hit but you are never coming in front who you are actually the child wants to know that who actually the wind is i felt you push i heard you call i can uh, feel the push strong wind can push you okay i heard you call you can the, he can hear the call of the wind i could not see yourself at all but the child he cannot see the wind at all so he is questioning oh wind they blowing all day long you are constantly blowing oh wind that sings so loud uh, so loud a song the song also you are singing that the poet can hear the loud song oh you that are so strong and cold you are so the child can feel he can imagine the wind is very strong isn't it sometimes you know how strong the wind is and how sometimes it's so cold cold uh, air comes sometimes isn't it so it's so cold oh blower are you young or old the poet uh, just uh, he is imagining is the wind very strong or it's cold it's so strong or cold or it is young or old are you a beast of field and tree what is the meaning of beast and animal so is the poet is thinking is that an animal because here the poet is a child who is uh, narrating this uh, poem okay or just a stronger child than me is thinking now i am also strong because the child thinks himself that is a strong child so is thinking is the wind, uh, wind he is stronger than the child uh, himself oh wind a blowing all day long oh wind that sings so loud a song so you see here here in this poem we read the different activities of the wind what the wind can do i think you will know better what the wind can do isn't it so there are different activities when you read this poem you will uh, feel that what the wind can do isn't it so you just go through this poem children okay just have a very good reading of this poem okay and see all the word meanings here toss here means throw about playfully a blowing blowing constantly blower the blowing wind beast and animal okay so please go through the poem we'll discuss the question answers in our next class okay thank you